Okay, but but it does have problems. And really the yeah. question is, are bipedal robots viable? And it encounters this problem. Let's watch it have this problem. <laughs> the roar? Okay, yeah. It's like, how does it navigate this? And like, it clearly wants to hunt. Oh. I can't. And it screams. It like screams as it's as it's on the ground, and Robocop's like, "This is my opportunity to just walk away." Like, I don't, this is like not my problem. Like, whatever. Okay, but so so are these bipedal robots viable? Because you have fall hazards. Like, how's it gonna how's it gonna handle this? Well, is it is its feet just they're just too big for human stairs? That's true. Maybe it needs <gasps> I see. to be people sized in some way. So you're saying the reason it fell is not really about the bipedalness. Because I was imagining if it had a third leg, a fourth leg, it could use those other legs for stability. Mm -hmm. What you're saying is really is an issue of this foot's just too big. Too big. So, so yeah, okay. So, okay, okay, okay. An elephant has four legs. An elephant would yeah. not be able to negotiate a staircase like this. It's just too big. Mm -hmm. So, so, so really this robot just needs to be human sized. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It just needs to be human shaped, human sized, human shaped. And in fact, Robocop is, and yeah. he walks down the stairs. Yeah, see you. Yeah. A bit a little goofy, but that's all right. So, I mean, even just making the legs more human sized or pointy would be, would be a good start. I guess, I guess these legs would be okay if the stairs were bigger. But, but 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 it's it's trying to go through places that are designed for humans. So yeah, designed for humans. So unless it's encountering like I don't know cargo loading stairs, I don't even think that's a real thing. It's just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> you, you, yeah you would have a ramp. <laughs> you have a ramp, yeah. So also, it acts like an animal. It has been it's been programmed with pain, and it looks like fear and frustration. Mm -hmm. This is really okay, advanced. Okay. okay, this is loud. Let's watch it again when it hits the bottom. It's like flailing and screaming, mm -hmm. like squealing. Like it's like I think that's an actual just pig sound. And so it's like frustrating and helpless. And you see, it's not just like hits the ground and like whatever. Yeah. Uh, what should I do? Okay, recalculating. It's yeah. like it's freaking out. It's freaking out. So ED two hundred nine was programmed or whatever created with lots of animal like things. This is an advanced robot. Okay, I have a new head cannon. Okay. And there's a child's brain in here. <sighs> Cause there's so you don't see inside. It's just mm -hmm. I mean, but but it it's learning and adaptive and like response to to pain and which which kids do like right like you like I jumped off a trampoline mm -hmm. as a kid and got injured like I was very tentative to getting back on trampolines after that, um, and then it's here like pinned down on his back and it's like screaming frustration whereas like a, an adult you're like uh just reassess the situation mm -hmm. and roll over get yourself back up, but like a kid like screaming screaming and like help me pain my arm's mm -hmm. missing right. So Dick Jones does imply that it's computational, but we never actually are introduced to how ED-209 works. And based on what we're seeing, it could be a child's brain inside. And that could be an advantageous over Robocop, which uses an adult brain, mm -hmm. because a child's brain is more plastic, adaptable, yeah. for learning new situations, which has the advantage of the learning, but the disadvantage of, well, this. Okay. This is more advanced than I thought. It's dark. It's so dark. But Let's I mean, start harvesting but, children. But Dick is good at business. He is good uh, at don't business. Har don't harvest children. Make best friends. <laughs>